God knows the plan. Let's best to get his plan. Isaiah 55 verse 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my way your, your ways, declares the Lord. Psalm 25 verse 4, Show me your ways that I may walk with you. God's ways, God's ways. And there was another time, God's crazy ways. And he got this guy to build this huge box, huge box, floating box. Uh, he said, a flood coming. And there'd never been a drop of rain there before, ever. These people didn't know what that was. And he said, once you beat, it's going to be a flood. And uh, he built the box, got animals on there, two by two and all that. Got his family on there, wife and the kids. And the uh, rain came down, the floods came up. And uh, everyone thought that up until this point, that Noah was just a crazy old man. Look at that crazy old man. Built that big box out here in the desert where there's never been rain, never likely to be rain. Uh, and, and when the floods came up, uh, they wished they were on board. And uh, Charles Spurgeon, uh, Baptist preacher out of England uh, in, the, in the 1800s, preached on this and he said, he grew up this scene, you know, the, 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 this big box, this ark goes sailing past and there's one guy, he's on the highest mountain, on the highest tree, on the highest mountain, and he's waving, let me on board, can I get on board, please? And Noah turned round and uh, he heard the voice and the, the floods kept coming up and as he looked out, he saw nothing but water. No one's laughing anymore. Is Noah crazy now? There was a time when God sent his son to die on a cross for sin sinful humankind. And to the majority it seemed like a crazy plan. <coughs> 1 Corinthians 1, 22 to 24, for Jews seek science and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Is it a crazy plan? Everybody look at us, that's a crazy plan. We would never come up with that plan. Let's read this together, Romans 1, 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation. Ephesians 2, 14, he is our peace who has broken down every wall. He breaks down walls through the cross. And, and there, there are obstacles to taking our city for God, but by faith, walls come tumbling down. By following God's plan, walls come tumbling down. Hebrews 11.30, we're, we're landing it now. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell. Hebrews 11.6. Without faith, what? It is impossible to please God. Romans 14.23. Uh, take this on board, guys. Whatever does not proceed from faith is what? Sin. So if you're thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I'm just doing that, but so, oh, I shouldn't have done, oh, Gordon, I didn't mean to do that. You, you did. It didn't proceed from, from faith, it's sin, that's what that says. Now, Hebrews 11, 31, by faith who? Right. Rahab became part of the faith community. Matthew 9, 29, uh, according to your faith, it will be done to you. James 2, 26, uh, this is in a direct application to Rahab. Faith without action is yes. dead. So we've been talking this morning about taking our city for God, devoting the city to God. But first of all, folks, we can't take a city for God if we're not devoted to God. Mm. So we can devote the city to God. We've got to devote ourselves to God. That's the very, very, very first thing. This is a faith issue. It's a faith issue. 2 Timothy 1.12 For I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Uh, fascinating, but I, I know who I am, but I, and I, I am convinced that he is able to keep what I have, what? Committed to him for that day. And that word committed, uh, literally in the Greek, means deposited. means that I have deposited all that I am in the bank of Jesus Christ. And never be a better investment, folks, than you play. Never be a better thing for you to do. This is for you to do today, to invest all that you are, your life, your body, your soul, your spirit, into the bank of Jesus Christ. How can you do that? You do that by bowing your heads and saying, I surrender to you. Uh, I'm inviting you into my life, Lord Jesus. I want you to be the one who governs and directs my life for now and forevermore. If you pray that prayer this morning and it comes from a heart that is genuine, you're going to enter into the promises of God, devoted to God, and then you're in a place where you can be used for God's magnificent purposes. Father in heaven, I want to thank you this morning, wonderful Lord of God. Wonderful Lord and God, we worship you this morning. Let's stand, folks. Let's raise our hands to the Lord our God this morning. Wonderful Lord and God, we worship you this morning. All honor, all glory to you. Father, if we stand in your presence, 
just like Joshua way back then, stand before the commander of the Lord's army and we stand on holy ground. I want to take the city for you, Father. But first, before we devote the city to you and receive that city from you, I want to devote ourselves to you. I want to become part of your plans and purposes. Folks, with your hands raised, I just know that some of you this morning, in order to enter into God's purposes, you're starting from scratch from day one, where for the very first time you say, Lord, I surrender to you. For some of you, you've been off the pathway. You left the journey for whatever reason. Someone hurt you, someone, someone disappointed you, someone let you down, things didn't go your way, and... and, and, and and you've wandered off the pathway so well God if that's the way your people are I don't want anything to do with them you need to come back this morning for some of you you know you said you know I, I want to go your way Lord uh, you, you need to be you need to be baptized by full immersion as a believer you need to go into the waters and come out so that you can indicate uh, to this faith community and to the whole wide world I'm going with Jesus and I'm going his way I'm devoting myself to God this morning Folks, we're going to sing and uh, would you make this song a prayer of commitment this morning? And as you do, I'm going to invite you to come and stand down the front. You can do business with God where you stand or sit right now. So I'm going to invite you to walk down the front this morning. Take that next step with the Lord Jesus Christ along the pathway to which He calls us. And I'm going to put up folks who can pray with you and encourage you this morning. As we sing, God speaking to you, you step out this morning. In Jesus' wonderful name. Let's, let's give voice this morning. Let's wrap praise to God.
Fantastic. Have a wonderful day. Love to see you back here tonight. Six o'clock. Got a great service here. 